What is your favorite model animal? What do you really think about the new building? Should we email you in Hebrew or English? What does your grandmother think you are doing? Okay, hello everyone. Okay. 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 <laughs> Hi, why come to Elsek? Because of your interest or for the money or prestige? Definitely for the money. <laughs> definitely prestige. For me, definitely. It's all about the money. That's a easy question. <laughs> So much money! So I don't think money here is so good if you compare it to the industry. So, and I'm really into neuroscience, computational neuroscience. So I guess I'm here for the interest. <laughs> for sure the interest. Like I love brain science and uh, I think one of my favorite movies was The Matrix. Uh, well, I think in general academia is about social status. If you want money, you go into industry. Uh, I recently discovered or realized that money is way more important than social status, but uh, I'm already here, so I'll just keep going until it's done. Here we go. How did you get into research? Did you always know that's what you're going to do? Yes. Okay, <laughs> that was easy. Well, no, I actually went to study medicine. So, you know, uh, I'm uh, the grandson of, of a professor, a son of a professor, so it's no surprise that I ended up being a professor. But the truth is, I didn't know exactly what I'd uh, do. I think I had a really inspiring biologi bi biology teacher in high school. Well, the answer is my high school teacher told me that I'll be a researcher and sent me to the Hebrew University. I was 15 years old and we had a, a housing for three weeks in Enkerem where I live today and I loved it. I wasn't actually thinking uh, I'll end up being a professor or anything like that. I just thought it's really interesting and cool and wanted to learn more. Actually very early on I knew that I want to be a brain research researcher, I think maybe I was, I think I was in the army. One day I, um, I was in the rehabilitation uh, ward and I s saw patients with uh, some neuro neuropsychological um, deficits, specifically neglect, and um, I just got confused and started thinking about stuff like consciousness and how we actually perceive the world and all those philosophical questions and I just couldn't stop thinking about it and this is actually how I got into research. Personally I knew from a very very young age that I'm going to do research. I don't remember if it was uh, 6, 8 or 10 but at the age of uh, 12 I was certain that I'm going to be a physicist so actually I was going to be an astronomer and actually during my teenage years uh, I was a very active astrophysicist. I actually built a radio telescope in my high school years. Um, I got into research after listening to the, a talk on the waggle of the bumblebee. And I got highly excited. The, the bees are waggling. I thought that, you know, uh, messing up with uh, uh, stuff in, the, in a regular lab uh, does not fit my character. Uh, but I found uh, Charles Hochstein's lab and uh, somehow this was very different from the others because it was not materials, it was uh, uh, working on 
big questions such as visual perception and that's how I got into it. I went to the secretary of the chemistry of chemistry and I told her that I want to study chemistry because I want to study the brain and she said I don't think that's the right choice but there is someone called Idan Segev you have to go and talk to him but he was on sabbatical so I couldn't meet him so I had to finish my studies and then I went to do brain science okay which PI is the most fashion forward? What's fashion, fashion forward? forward? Like good uh, fashion taste? Definitely done. <laughs> done. So it done. Yeah. 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 Dead right. Yeah, no, I like like uh, orange with green. All goes well together. Which uh, um, Which PI? Uh, definitely Idan Segev. Yes! With, uh, colorful pants and. Yeah, definitely. Keep up the good work. <laughs> but also, not a PI, but I think uh, that uh, back in the day, Eldad Diofe was a very good dresser. So. <laughs> what would you do if you weren't a researcher? Ah, that's clear. I, be, I would be a barista. Um, I'm th dreaming about my... Uh, coffee place at the corner, I even know which corner. I would open a restaurant, I really like to cook. <laughs> Two things I want to do, other than being uh, research, is being a, a film director or a novelist. So that's the two things I would have tried to do. I would like to do, to have a, a bike shop, something around that. Mm. <laughs> um. I think in high school, my thoughts was ranging from being in, uh, from being a doctor to being in, uh, a social worker or even an actor. So it was, uh, uh, I guess if I wasn't a researcher, it's really hard to say where I would end up. I would be a, either a rock star on stage um, or a volleyball player. So if I would not be a scientist, I would do art, maybe writing, a writer of, 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 of short stories, or maybe a conductor of classical music, but around art, for sure. I wanted to be a historian, then I wanted to be a physicist, then I wanted to be a pianist, then I wanted to be a mathematician, then I wanted to be a physicist, and I ended up a biologist. So. One of these, probably, maybe. I wanted to be a rock star. I still want to be a rock star. <laughs> I and I'm a scientist. Do you feel it's a failure? No. <laughs> for, this, uh, for this round of life, it's fun. Next round, I'll be a rock star. With which PI would you like to grab a beer? With uh, Yossi Tsarabello. Well, more PIs means more beer, so all of them. Ellie Nelson. Uh, I would take the female side and say Nomi. It's new, sounds Khabib, yeah. All right. How do you manage your time in order to get everything done, but still stay sane? First of all, I don't manage my time. Secondly, I don't, I don't get everything done. And thirdly, I am not sane. <laughs> Spot on. Actually, I would really want to see the other answers for that, because I think I didn't figure it out yet. Mm. Time is interesting. Well, it's easy in my case, because I don't get much done. So it's very easy to stay sane. I guess that I divide my day to little bits and pieces and I try to focus on one piece at a time. The technique is called deadline. All the rest is completely chaotic. So actually for me, managing time is, is not, it's an issue which I, I solve by working with good people and force them to manage me in some sense. I have this ethos. My ethos is that I always have time. I'm never busy. Never ever. I'm very proud of it because if you look at my schedule, it's always empty. Of course, when I teach, it's not, but in general, 
I'm looking at these very busy professors all the time. You have to schedule a month in advance. I don't understand this. My time is completely available all the time. I'm never busy. That's how I feel. Some people say it's not completely true <laughs> from their perspective, but from my perspective, time is completely free. And I make it a point to uh, do some exercise every day. So, you know, the way I uh, make sure that I have new thoughts about science and other uh, issues is to walk. Okay, so I walk regularly for at least uh, an hour uh, out in the nature to make sure that I stay sane. What does your grandmother think you're doing? <laughs> well, actually my grandmother, whenever I come visit her, she, she always tells me how uh, she has uh, uh, trouble in uh, falling asleep. Like she can't, uh, she can't sleep. So uh, whenever I come visit her, she's like, you're in brain something, right? You should do this, you should research this. Like, why don't I fall asleep? And I'm like, uh, I'm sorry, grandma, that's not what I do. But, uh, well, that's, my, <laughs> that's what my parents uh, tell me every time. Yeah, yeah, they they also want to fall asleep. Uh, not about sleeping, but they yeah. have a lot of ideas about what what I should research. I guess my grandmother thinks I'm sitting with a robot shaped like human and basically just trying to talk to the robot and teach it how to do tricks. What do you really think about the new building? emphasized really in capital the really <laughs> as if I, usually you don't say the real thing well uh, it's uh, interesting I think the building has potential uh, I think the building is great I uh, it's already great I think the uh, my lab and my office are so nice that I don't really feel the need to get out. That may be the main uh, failure of the building, that the uh, lab spaces are uh, nice enough so that they don't push people out. I really like the new building. I wish it wouldn't be cold in the winter though, so we could actually enjoy it also when it's freezing outside. What would you do instead of the out-of-use canal, water canal? Okay. Actually, what I would do is actually put uh, fish inside and I would cover it with glass so that you can actually stand above it and look at the fish. Probably put some flowers in. Yeah. I think maybe turn it into like a... put plants in it. So put some mud and flowers. That would be really, really nice. I actually really like the canal and I wish it would work. It reminds me... When I was a student I was... Uh, working as a guard in the Israeli Museum and once I was sent to uh, spend the night in the Rockefeller Museum next to the old city and it has a beautiful uh, small pool outside and this pool outside actually reminds me of that one and I think it's kind of it's uh, I really like it I wish it would work What's the best thing in the Goodman building? The best thing? Are you sure? <laughs> uh, definitely the window washing robots, although they haven't made an appearance in a while. Well, for me, the best thing in the Goodman building is the kosher mehadrin food during the Hella lectures. Um, I like the, the library. Trees. I like the trees. And they're new. Every month they put new trees, <laughs> so... Uh, I don't think it's on purpose. Would you like to see more free-spirited artistic activities at ELSEC? Music, theater, poetry. This uh, is yes, 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 I would. Definitely. Yes, I would. Open up the gallery. I plan to even do something about that. Yes. <laughs> yeah, of course. It's like the best uh, feature of the brain, I think. Art. Uh, yes, in fact, I'm in a band um, together with uh, Stav Yardeni, who is a year below me, and uh, Oliver Hazan, who is not in Elsik, but a great bassist. Um, and our band is called Sinfire, and we hope to perform at an Elsik event uh, at some time in the near future. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. I heard they're going to bring a piano to Elsik. 
so that will be nice. Yeah. yeah. It will shave the uh, noises of the construction. <laughs> Some, some group making hip hop songs, you know, like but original stuff, not just you know remakes and stuff like that. Great idea. Original songs here, you know, that's what I see in my vision. Right? Yeah, I agree. Okay. That's it. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, congratulations to Essex. Okay. Thank you. Congrats.